everyone, I'm Andrew Carruthers for Samvia. This segment of our hot tips may be one of the most foundational and one of the most simple that we've ever created, but in our opinion, we think it's one of the most essential. I remember growing up in the hair industry and looking up at, towards these guys like Takashi Kitamura and James Morrison and watching them cut hair and watching how elegant their hands looked as they cut hair. And just simply by how elegant and graceful they looked as they cut hair, it made me think these guys are the best of the best. So what I tried to do was I tried to create a similar look as I do hair, and I think it's a big part of why my clients like to sit in my chair. They're always commenting on, it's just fun to watch you cut hair. So what we're really gonna focus on today is how do you get that control over your scissors? See what I said? Pretty fundamental, but honestly, one of the most important things that you guys can learn. So first things first, when you look at a pair of scissors, and this is the six inch cutting shear, six and a quarter inch, I'm sorry, cutting shear from Samvia. If you look at the shear, they have these big holes in them for your fingers. That doesn't mean that you should stuff your hand all the way into those holes. What we wanna do is we wanna keep the scissors actually up in our fingertips as we're cutting. Once we're here, we're pretty stuck. We have one hand position, and it also creates more of that, uh, that fanning effect with our fingers rather than getting our fingers to stay still. So first tip is keep your scissors up here in your fingertips. What that does is it allows me more movement and rotation of the scissor. And that's something really essential. What do you guys think is the first thing to go on a hairdresser? Right here, it's our wrists. So if the only way that you can change your scissor position is by bending your wrist in awkward positions, you're not gonna have a very long career. That's also part of the reason why we've shifted this thumb piece forward on our scissor so that you're not having to put your hand in such awkward positions as you would if this thumb is all the way back here. You guys can probably see that at home, the difference in how awkward my hand gets if I shift back here. So, what we want you to practice is we want you to practice holding this part of your hand still and only controlling the scissor by your thumb. And it's not by jamming the thumb in there, it's by controlling it through pressure through your thumb. I'm actually pushing down just slightly and then forward just slightly. So that's what opens and closes the scissor. Great way to, to practice this. You can sit at home on the couch and just lay those fingers right on your knee and just make it so that you can open and only open and close with your thumb. That's a great way to practice this. The guy that apprenticed me made me do this all day long, all the time. I hated him for it at the time, love him for it now. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to try it and rotate the scissors into different positions. What we found, again, is if you can control the scissor in many different hand positions, you don't then have to tweak your wrist and you don't have to end up with carpal tunnel surgery. So after you get the thumb movement down, start forward, learn how to control this way, come to the side, learn how to control this way, and then even let the scissor rotate back and away and be able to cut this direction. So now how that translate on, onto a head of hair is if I'm on top of the head, Instead of having my hands stuck in a certain position and having to do this to point cut, now I can let the scissors drop into a much more natural position. And if you see, my wrist is in a very natural position and I can just use my thumb to control the scissor. This is much, much better on my, my limbs than having to do this. I'm sure you guys can tell the difference, right? So, those are the main key points on scissor control is, again, make sure that your thumb's doing the work. Keep your scissors up in your fingertips so you have control forward, middle, and back so you can rotate them around without having to tweak your wrist. And I, I really want to challenge you guys to take the time and practice that movement. I guarantee if you sit at home and you actually practice these movements and get great scissor control, A, you're gonna have a longer career, and B, you're gonna start getting compliments from your coworkers and your clients that 
You just look very elegant and graceful when you cut hair. That inspires confidence. Confidence is what gets you more clients. So practice this at home. Let us know how it works. Hit us up on the Facebook page. Give us comments on your practice. Thanks, everyone. I'm Andrew Carruthers for Sam Dia.